Hello and welcome to this uh, video. I am Manga Tengu. I'm a freelance uh, manga artist and today I'm going to show you how I inked uh, this drawing. Okay, so let's begin. So I'm using uh, for this drawing, I'm using a fine liner. Uh, in fact, I'm using several fine, fine liners. Each one has it, uh, its own thickness. thickness. Um, so I'll begin uh, by uh, inking the outline of the whole drawing before I go inside it. So depending on the lines I'm inking and uh, on the size of uh, the elements, I'll be using uh, different uh, diameters uh, of uh, fine liners. Uh, so the foot I began with, uh, I inked it with a 0 0.05 which is a little gray, uh, a little gray, I mean uh, the body of the, the pen. Uh, then for uh, uh, bigger, uh, bigger lines like uh, the shattered uh, clothes and uh, the hair, etc., I'll be using a point one, depending on the case. If the hair was uh, very big, I would use a brush, I wouldn't use a fine liner. So. You have to adapt depending on what you're inking. Uh, you have to use the right tool. For example, here I use a point one, so it's two times as uh, thick as the point zero five I used for the foot, uh, because uh, wrinkles uh, are not so detailed, and I can go uh, quicker with uh, this diameter. So I I don't stay on uh, zero point zero five and uh, take uh, twice as much time as I need. I just switch and go uh, quicker uh, when I can. Going for the long lines, uh, long curved lines inking, I'm doing it with my point 0.1 liner uh, since I want them to be quite uh, thin and uh, I'm repeating my movement to give them some variation uh, and make them interesting because in art, uh, in line art, uh, you can't make uh, constant lines everywhere uh, with all the same weight uh, or it gets uh, stiff and boring so i know uh, people uh, some people say uh, repeating your lines like this is an amateur uh, way of uh, going but uh, i think uh, as long as i get the, the result i aimed for it's uh, it's okay i have no problem doing it this way uh, the only thing I, I regret is that it's very slow. So here you can see me inking the, the hair. Uh, I'm doing it uh, with uh, a point one uh, fine liner. It's not uh, the tool uh, people usually uh, take uh, to, to ink uh, this kind of things. Uh, but uh, well, uh, the hair was uh, very little on the paper, and uh, it wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't have gained uh, so much time uh, doing it with a brush, and uh, I felt I, I was not going to get it right. So I continued uh, with my liner, and it takes a little more time, but uh, at least you're sure the, the result will be as ex as expected. So drawing uh, hair is uh, not. Uh, something uh, very difficult you have to draw uh, the how do they say the, the main volume of the hair first and then you add the details uh, so I already done it uh, with the pencil here I, I'm just uh, lining uh, it's like layering a drawing I'm just uh, inking uh, the hair uh, uh, depending on how I drew it with the pencil and uh, I add a little hair floating and separating from the main parts it uh, gives it uh, more uh, life and uh, lightness uh, you can feel it uh, being uh, pushed uh, by the wind etc to ink uh, the details of the face uh, the shadow of the nose, uh, the beard, etc. Uh, as you can see, I'm using uh, my gray liner again, so 0 0.05, uh, very thin liner, uh, to get them right uh, easily. So 
So I tried uh, this pen, uh, it's a GTEC uh, C4 from Pilot uh, for the hatches. Uh, well, I didn't use it a lot because uh, the, it doesn't have as much uh, variation uh, depending on the pressure as much as the, as the fine liners, uh, which already don't have much. So I found it uh, very clean, but uh, very, very cold. So I used it a little to begin with uh, my hatches, and uh, then I switched back. Uh, I switched uh, to other tools. Uh, here I tried uh, my brush pen, but uh, I felt it was not going right. So I went back for my 0 0.05 liner. Uh, thanks uh, to Guillaume for uh, uh, giving it to me. So um, I, I when I do hatches. I try to make them in the in the in the same direction uh, as the as the surface I am uh, I am uh, shadowing, so it expresses uh, more of the volume of uh, of the object I'm I'm shadowing. So uh, really, the key to hatching your drawing well. Uh, of course, you, you've got to use the, the right caliber, uh, but also you have to make it in the good direction. It has to, to have the, the right angle. So you can't, for example, uh, it's difficult to hatch uh, some curved uh, surface with uh, straight lines. You have to adapt and follow the surface. Now you can see me texturing uh, the, 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 the cloth. I'm add, adding some dirt. So to add uh, the dirt, I do it uh, by drawing some random uh, lines, uh, but uh, they have to follow uh, a common pattern uh, that will make you feel that it's been splashed on the on the cloth. So you have to be careful when uh, doing some random texture like that. Uh, you have to be careful uh, for your pattern to stay. Uh, uh, to stay uh, logical, correct, uh, cred uh, credible. To ink uh, the back part of the the cloth, uh, which uh, is not uh, lit uh, very much, it's uh, in the sh in the shadow. Uh, I first uh, hatched it uh, with my point point one liner, but uh, it's not uh, thick enough and. Uh, it uh, doesn't give it enough character. So I used uh, my Uniball Eye uh, pen. So uh, it, ha it has a, a bigger uh, diameter and uh, the hatches uh, you get with it have more presence uh, and you, you feel uh, more movement uh, while with uh, those hatches. So I used it uh, to ink uh, this part of the, of the cloth. So after outlining and uh, hatching every piece uh, separately, I add uh, some shadows between them uh, to show that this one is overlapping this one, etc., etc. And uh, to fine tune uh, my uh, shadows so people feel uh, volume better. So this is uh, fine tuning uh, of a piece of drawing. Uh, and depending on if, 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 if it goes well or not, I will spread this uh, detail, this uh, detail level on uh, the rest of the drawing. Here, for example, you can see me hatching uh, with uh, nearly straight lines, some curved surface. And uh, well, it's not really great uh, to hatch this way. Uh, I feel it flattens uh, the drawing a lot. So make sure you don't do the, the same mistake. Uh, I, uh, I, I think uh, you'll agree with me that if it was uh, hatched with uh, curves, it would uh, look uh, much more uh, bumpy. So this was a little presentation of my way to ink uh, with uh, fine liners. Um, maybe uh, you'll have some questions uh, to ask uh, about uh, what I've done. Maybe I didn't uh, give enough uh, details. Uh, 
so if it's the case, uh, feel free to uh, shoot me an email or uh, to contact me uh, via the comments, etc. I'll be happy to answer you. Uh, also, uh, I wanted uh, to tell you about uh, my website. Uh, so it's uh, three three w uh, dot uh, manga tengu t e n g u dot com. Uh, here, uh, there you can find uh, my manga, uh, which I broadcast uh, for free. Uh, you can find it uh, by clicking on read and choosing uh, the chapter. <laughs> for now, there is only one chapter, but uh, well, you, you have to click it <laughs> so you can read. And uh, I hope uh, you like it and uh, feel free to give me your feedback about it. I'll be happy to improve it uh, depending on the results. So uh, I wish you good luck uh, with your own stuff. And uh, if you want more videos or uh, details, as I said, uh, feel free to contact me. Bye bye.